Hey, if this is the first video you're watching of mine, my name is Mike Vulcan, Lead Instructor Freelancer Masterclass. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We do a lot of good content about uh, how freelancers can make the most of their job. Today's topic is getting your first Upwork job in three days or less. I'm going to show you how to do it. I wouldn't recommend taking these measures so quickly, but if you have to get a job in three days, this is how you do it. Day one, and I've estimated the time to be about six hours. The first thing you need to do is create and optimize a draft of your profile. This is your Upwork profile. We're talking specifically about Upwork here. And what I want you to do is get it proofread, okay? Get somebody else, a professional writer, to review it. And if you have to get it done quick, put it an Upwork job. It says, quick work, uh, proofread, um, job needed today, or even go to Fiverr where people are usually more responsive, although of less quality, F-I-V-E-R-R, -R. ask them to proofread something. This is a very important step because the more errors you have in your profile, the less likely you are to get uh, uh, calls and clicks um, to invite you to jobs. And then once you create a draft of your profile, step two would be to do a reverse search and get inspiration. So what I want you to do is let's say you're a designer. Let's say you're a logo designer. I want you to go to the um, search where you're searching for other freelancers in Upwork. And I want you to search for logo designers. See what other people have in their titles. See what they have in their description. See what they have in, your, in uh, their portfolio. See how it's displayed. Get inspiration. Don't copy their titles. Don't copy their description. But use what you like and then modify it to your liking. Okay. And then I want you to create another draft of your profile. Now what I want you to do is ask your friends and family for feedback. Whoever's available that day, hey, do you have a few minutes? Please take a look at this. Does this read okay? Does this look okay? Is this picture okay? Is there anything missing that you know about my skill sets? And then what I want you to do is finalize your profile. So in the matter of six hours, see it says estimated time six hours, you have created essentially three drafts of your profile and now it's final and ready to go. Now, the next step, day two, four hours. I want you to set aside four hours for this. Step one, I want you to make a list of all the keywords relating to jobs that you would take on. So let's say you're a marketer. A keyword would be search engine optimization. You could break down, down even further and say on-page SEO, on uh, off-page SEO. You can do SEO as a keyword and then search engine optimization as a keyword. Just make a list of everything. Marketing strategy could be a keyword, inbound marketing, lead generation, influencer marketing, paid ads, Google ads, Bing ads. The list goes on and on. Really think about all of your skill sets and what you could do to service a client and all those keywords surrounding it. You should have at least 30 words, if not more. I want you to make a big long list in Word or Excel or however you like to, to put that list. And then I want you to search upward. Go to the job section and use the advanced search if you like to get even more specific, where you can search in titles, you can search in descriptions. Now remember, Upwork does allow you to have what's called Boolean phrases. That means if you put the, the keywords in quotes, if there's two or more words, that the quotes will search the exact phrase. It's called a Boolean phrase search, okay? So if you wanna get really specific, go ahead and do that. But since we're looking for 20 jobs, that's part of step two, your goal is to apply for 20 jobs. Since you're looking for 20 jobs to apply for in one day, I wouldn't get too specific, okay? Just get your get a general sense of the 30 words out there and just search all those words and see what comes up. Just sort through all the jobs that are available, okay? Now, what I want you to do is send a proposal letter. So what should be in that proposal letter? Well, uh, five things. Number one, the first sentence should be a custom sentence that specifically references their project. No more of this copy and paste. I'm trying to rid Upwork of, of all these copy and paste. Whenever I post a job and I have freelancers apply and they don't reference anything specific for the job, it's just like, hello, my name is this. I do this, this, blah, blah, blah. Archive, like I don't even consider you. I don't care what your price is or how attractive uh, your, your offering is. If you don't uh, give me something specific to my job, then you're gone. All right, so the first sentence right off the bat should reference their project specifically. Now, the four hours, you know, this is probably where three hours of the four hours come from. It's just reading through the actual job description. Yes, I'm asking you to read through the actual job description, something that most freelancers don't do. They just look at the title and they apply. Okay, read through it. Uh, apply with a custom sentence right off the bat. And then the second sentence is, tell them who you are and who you've helped. Very simple. 
Don't make this too long. Don't be so complicated, okay? The third sentence, or maybe even by this point, the fourth sentence, appeal to their needs and their pain points. What is a pain point? They're posting a job because they have a pain point. They, have, they need a solution to their problem, okay? Tell them the work that you like to do provides commonality into what they're asking. For example, a client posts a job or a prospect posts a job. I need some on-page SEO. Okay, well then you're, their pain point is SEO. You are an on-page SEO expert. Tell them that. Tell them that you're passionate about on-page SEO and tell them about all your experience, okay? And just summarize. You don't need to tell them about every detail, okay? And the next sentence is make sure you tell them that you need to meet certain criteria to work for you. This is important. This gives you value and validity, okay? Say, listen, in order for you to work with me, make sure this is a two-way street. We're interviewing each other. Um, I need you to, uh, to, to make sure that you're as responsive to me because I, from my experience, I know that uh, responsive clients I work well with uh, when there's open communication. Um, I need this. I need that. Like, Tell them a few things that you know that provides good job success. Okay? And then the last sentence, don't forget to do this. So many freelancers forget. Keep it short and very politely ask for a call. Okay. Now, I know from my vast experience of conversions that if you do this for 20 jobs, you're going to get five people. Where's my marker? Marker, you're going to get five people who are going to respond right away that day. Okay. So now we're on day three and I'm estimating five hours because you got five calls to take and some follow-up to do. So each call should last about a half an hour, maybe 45 minutes. Not, don't make it longer than that or it's going to be too long-winded, okay? So step one, you're supposed to respond to any emails. Remember, on day two, just the day prior, you applied to 20 positions, okay? You're going to respond to those emails. People are going to write you back, respond as quickly as possible, okay? You should have at least five people asking for a call. If you don't, then something was wrong with your bid letters, okay? I want you to get on the phone with them ASAP. It's not, hey, can we schedule a call next week? Can we schedule a call Saturday? Can we schedule a call after work? When can you get on the phone? I'm available now or I'm available in one hour. Okay, get them on the phone. In the interest of getting a job quick, offer them to do the first hour. Now, this is something I wouldn't recommend. Offer to do the first hour for super cheap or at least part of the project if it's a per project, a non-hourly project, okay? Remember, the title of this is getting an Upwork job in three days. I didn't say getting a uh, $100,000 Upwork job in three days. It's just getting a job. You want to get clients in the door now at no matter what cost. So you're getting them on the phone. You're saying, listen, I'll do this first hour work for you for super cheap or even free. Just get that agreement signed right through Upwork and start that job, okay? Now, step two here <coughs> is going to be at least one of those five that you talk to should be ready to start now, at least one. So you applied for 20, you got on the phone with five, and one of them should be ready to go now, today. Okay, get on Upwork, and I want you to send a thank you message. Why is that? Because so many clients, so many, pro actually the prospects at this point, their clients once they, they start a job, so many prospects will say, yeah, you're the person for the job, great. Uh, let me go, uh, I'm leaving for the day, tomorrow I'll open up a job. Well, guess what? Between that time of them leaving for the day and tomorrow, uh, they got on the phone with three other people and you, you're ancient history, okay? Get on Upwork, send them a thank you message right after that phone call and encourage them to open a job ASAP today now, okay? To secure your time. That's the way I like to say it. I'm a busy person. Uh, I have clients wanting to sign, sign up with me. If you want to get started today, I'm available. I cannot promise I'll be available tomorrow. It sounds a little sales pitchy, but if you just had a good conversation with them and they have a problem that you can solve and they need this done now, there's no reason to wait. Just say, listen, the, the politest way to say this is just to secure my time. Let's get this going now so I can start thinking about your project tonight and so even, maybe even start working tonight. Okay? That's your three-step process. Actually, three-day process. There's multiple steps within each day, but let's see, there's five hours. There is, let's go back one, four hours and six hours. Okay, so there's 15 hours worth of work here to get a client within three days. And these are, being, this is being conservative. Generally, if you apply for 20 positions, you should get at least three or four 
jobs out of it. Okay. Hope this helps. Good luck.